Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that environmental sustainability can only be achieved through climate justice. Delivering the inaugural address at the Energy and Resources Institute's TRI World Sustainable Development Summit yesterday through video message, Modi said successful climate actions also need adequate financing. And for this, developed countries need to fulfill the commitments on finance and technology transfer. He said sustainability requires coordinated action for the global commons. He said energy requirements of the people of India are expected to nearly double in the next 20 years and denying this energy would be denying life itself to millions. The Prime Minister said all countries must work together towards ensuring availability of clean energy from a worldwide grid everywhere at all times. Union Health Ministry has asked all states and union territories to review and amend additional COVID-19 restrictions after considering the trend of new cases. Union Health Secretary Rajesh Pushan has written a letter to the Chief Secretaries and Chief Administrators of all states and UTs in this regard. He said while effectively managing the public health challenge of COVID-19, it is equally important that movement of people and economic activities should not be hampered by additional restrictions. Pushan has asked states and UTs to continue monitoring the trajectory of cases and spread of infection on a daily basis. He said they may also follow the five-fold strategy of test, track, treat, vaccination and adherence to COVID-appropriate behaviour. Legendary music composer and singer Bappi Lahiri passed away at a Mumbai hospital yesterday morning. He was 69. President Ramnath Govind, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Information Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur have paid condolences at the demise of Bappi Lahiri. Babi Lahiri, whose real name was Alokesh, was known for delivering popular songs in several films of the late 70s and 80s like Jalde Jalde, Disco Dancer and Sharapi. Babi Da, as he was fondly called by film fraternity, can be called as the father of disco music in India. The State Level Steering Cum Monitoring Committee meeting was held under the chairmanship of Chief Secretary Nagalan J. Alam yesterday at Kohima. The meeting was held to discuss the annual work plan and budget for PM Bushan Midday Meal 2020-2023. Chief Secretary J. Alam said special attention is required for effective implementation of various welfare schemes and urged the department to work tirelessly towards the successful implementation of the scheme. In a PowerPoint presentation, on activities carried out by the school department during 2020-21, Principal Director of School Education Shanava C. said, as directed by the central government, the department is implementing food security allowance, FAS, to eligible children during the closure of schools on account of COVID-19. He said parents or guardians of eligible children were asked to report to the school and they were provided with FAS, which were pre-packed in presence of SMCs, VECs, block level officials, community members. Shanavas informed that food grain entitlement for primary classes is 100 gram per student, while the cooking cost is 4 rupees 97 paise per student. As for upper primary classes, food grain provided is 150 grams per student, and the cooking cost is 7 rupees 45 paise per student. With the new Omicron variant of coronavirus causing concern, we appeal our listeners to be vigilant and to get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, to get vaccinated. Please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information or guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1-0-3-4-5-0-0-1-9. With this, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.